press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi students, welcome to your English class. Today we are going to deal with a poem that is Off to Outer Space Tomorrow Morning by Normal, Norman Nicholson. Now, this is an interesting poem of a person who is going to space the next morning and is telling people what they are supposed to do when he is going to leave, like a goodbye, okay, like a farewell that he is giving to all of them. That's the entire gist of this poem here. Off to outer space tomorrow morning. That's the next morning is going to space and he'll not be here on earth. So what are people supposed to do when he's going to go? And it's like a last goodbye that I'm going to tell you. I don't know what's going to happen in space, but here on earth as I leave you, I am going to say goodbye is what the speaker of the poem wants to tell us. Now, a very short poem and an interesting one. Uh, we'll deal with all the aspects of today itself in this class. Before that, let's before that let's know a little about the poet and understand his details. So, Norman Nicholson, he uh, he has been a novelist. Okay, he has been a poet himself. Has written. See, his uh, language is always straightforward, and his language carries or his words carry a lot of weightage. So, valuable uh, words that he utters. So, he is known for his uh, regional geography that he has written, criticism, literary criticism, autobiographies are written, so biographies and novels as well. Now, he is uh, noted for uh, what he writes on his, uh, based on the society where it concerns people, okay, the local concerns that happen, his uh, straightforwardness of language, that's why I told you, and Usage of everyday language, routine words that we use. He is known for that. Now, when you read this poem, I want you to understand his straightforwardness and his uh, common everyday routine uh, language that he has used. Very simple poem for you to understand. Uh, a sim very simple English that's used, not uh, in a way that you will have to interpret uh, it giving a lot of references, no. This is not a poem where you will have to give a lot of references, but with single one single reading, you would understand uh, how this poem wants to uh, convey its message or what you should know out of the poem. Alright, now we'll read this poem today, Off to Outer Space Tomorrow Morning. I'm going to read it once by Norman Nicholson and uh, then we'll get into the explanation. So follow your copies on page 176. Off to outer space tomorrow morning, Norman Nicholson. Nicholson. You can start the countdown. You can take a last look. You can pass my you can pass me my helmet from its plastic hook. You can cross out my name from the telephone book, for I am off to outer space tomorrow morning. There won't be any calendar, there won't be any clock. Daylight will be on the switch and winter on the lock. I'll doze when I'm sleepy and wake without a knock, for I'm off to outer space tomorrow morning. I'll be writing no letters, I'll be posting no mail, for with nobody to visit me or not a friend in hail. In solitary confinement as complete as any jail, I'll be off to outer space tomorrow morning. When my capsule door is sealed and my space flight has begun, with the teacup circling round me like the planets round the sun, I'll be the center of my gravity, a universe of one, setting off to outer space tomorrow morning. You can watch on television and follow from afar, tracking through your telescope my upward shooting star. But you needn't think I'll give a damn for what you are or what for you or what you are when I'm off to outer space tomorrow morning. And when the rockets thrust me on my trans glacetic hope with twenty hundred light years before the first stop. Then you and every soul on earth can go and blow your top, for I am off to outer space tomorrow morning. Okay? Okay. I shall read it once more. Please follow your copies and then we'll get into an explanation line by line. 
you can start the countdown you can take a last look you can pass me my helmet from its plastic hook now what i want you to do is sorry for interrupting but what i want you to do is uh, follow the line properly so register some words in your mind you can start the countdown you can take the last look you can pass me a helmet from its plastic hook you can cross out my name from the telephone book for i am off to outer space tomorrow morning there won't be any calendar there won't be any clock daylight will be on the switch and winter under lock i'll doze off when i'm sleepy and wake without a knock for i am off to outer space tomorrow morning i'll be writing no letters i'll be posting no mail with for for with, for with nobody to visit me and not a friend in hail in solitary confinement as complete as any jail i'll be off to outer space tomorrow morning when my capsule door is sealed and my space flight has begun with the teacup circling round me like the planets round the sun i'll be the center of my gravity a universe of one setting off to outer space tomorrow morning you can watch on television and follow from far tracking through your telescope my upward shooting star but you needn't think i'll give a damn for you or what you are for when i am off to outer space tomorrow morning when when the rockets thrust me on my trans gals uh galactic hop with 20 100 light years before the first stop then you and every soul on earth can go and blow your top for i am out to outer space tomorrow morning all right go to the first uh, stanza we'll see see every stanza has four lines so understanding is easier so he says you can start the countdown you can take the last look so what is the uh, speaker planning to do he is going on a journey an astronaut who is going on a journey to space so he says you can count down say 10 9 8 do the countdown you can take a last look at me take a last look at me you can pass me my helmet from its plastic hook his helmet uh, which he wants to use uh, in the rocket he's kept there pass on me my helmet from that plastic hook that is there you can cross out my name from the telephone book the telephone directory that is there strike out my name because you can't call me any further for i am out of for i am off to outer space tomorrow morning he says i'm going to space tomorrow morning you strike out my name from the telephone book pass me my helmet from the plastic hook and you start your countdown and take a last look at me second one there won't be any calendar there won't be any clock i will not have any calendar nor will i have any clock that will run daylight will be on the switch and winter under lock so daylight will also go on winter will also go on which i will never know i'll doze when i'm sleepy and wake without a knock i'll sleep when i want to sleep i'll doze off when i want to do and i will nobody to disturb me with my knock saying wake up wake up no nobody will be there for i'm off to outer space tomorrow morning what is this no calendars no clocks i will not know anything the year the time nothing i will not uh, be aware of the day and night there it will be going on on its own but i will not be bothered because i am not going to do my routine uh, kind of work i will not keep anything under lock or i have to take protection i will sleep when i want to and i and there will nobody be disturbing on my door or knocking on my door because i am going to space tomorrow morning i'll be writing no letters i'll be posting no mail i been mean, no letters will be written to you or no mail will be sent to you war with nobody to visit me and not a friend in hail so there will be nobody visiting me and nobody will uh, nobody will be giving me company there nobody will be joining me along in solitary confinement as complete as any jail solitary is alone being alone okay solitary confinement as complete as a jail confinement is a closed space that is there that is jail okay uh, g a o l jail so i will be alone just like i am in prison just like i am in jail i'll be confined to one small space not like an open uh, space like you because i'm going to space tomorrow morning so what he says i'm not going to write any letters i'm not going to post any um, i mean send any mail or post any letters i will have nobody to visit me i will have nobody to share with my joys and sorrows i am not going to come and visit anybody i will be as like a prisoner alone in the jail in solitary confinement i'll be alone prisoned like in a jail because i'm going to space tomorrow morning 
when my capsule door is sealed and my uh, space flight has begun, so when my door is closed and my space flight begins to move with the teacups circling around me like the planets around the sun. So my teacups will be ru running on because of the gravitational force, the absence of the gravitational force as you are going high. The teacups will be circling around. I will be the center of my gravity, a universe of one. He says, I will only be the center of my gravity. Here on earth, I have this gravitational force. I am there. There, there is absence of this gravitational force. I will also be moving there and I will be the center of my gravity, a universe of one, a one universe inside wherever I am because I am going to setting off to outer space tomorrow morning because I am going to space. So when my door will be closed and when my space flight starts off or begins its journey, my teacups will start circling around and around. I will now have not have proper gravitational force. I will be my own gravity. I will feel the whole universe, whole universe as one because I am going to outer space tomorrow morning. You can watch on television and follow from afar. He says, you need, see you will not get to see me anywhere. So if they are showing it on television or TV, on the switch on the television and you can see me from a very far away. You will not see my presence uh, just close to you. Tracking through your telescope, my upward shooting star. So if you have a telescope, come and see where my upward shooting star is going, where my space flight is going on. But you need not think I'll give a damn for you or what you are. He says, I don't care. I'll not give you a damn meaning. I will not care what you are doing or what you will be doing or what you're thinking of me. I don't care. He says, I will not give you any damn. When I'm off to outer space tomorrow morning, he says, when I'm going to space, you can watch me on television from very far away. I will not be there right in front of you. Okay. You can track me through your telescope if you want. Because I am not going to give you a damn, I am not going to care for who you are or what you are doing, nothing. Because I am going to space tomorrow morning. Okay. And when the rockets thrust me on my transgalactic hope with 20, 100 light years before the first stop. Okay. So when my rocket is going uh, across those galaxies there, they are hopping over those galaxies over there with 20, 100 light years. Okay. 20, 100 light years before the first stop. So when these light years are going uh, before the first stop and when I'm going to cross all of these, then you and every soul on earth can go and blow your top. He says then you do whatever you want. You, uh, you and other, any other soul on the earth do whatever you want. What does it matter to me when I am there 20 years ahead and what will, what will happen here is nothing of my concern because I am off to, for I am off to outer space tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, that's the simple uh, poem that's there. We'll look at it in detail again now and then uh, we'll see some other figures of speech and the rhyme scheme and other things likewise. So what does he say first? Take a look at me, look at me nicely first, okay, last look. So this is going to be your last look and give me my helmet. Give me my helmet from where the plastic hook is there, give me from that. Strike out my name from the telephone booth because you cannot call me any for any any further. Okay, there is no use in keeping my name in the telephone booth. Uh, sorry, telephone book. Absolutely of no use. So you can take out my name because I'm going to outer space. See now this continuous repetition of the last line off to outer space, setting up for I am going, whatever conveys you the same meaning that he is going to space tomorrow morning. Continuous repetition is a reminder for those people saying that you can do whatever you want here because I am going and I am leaving. There is nothing for me to interfere with what you have to do. But I will be going and I will enjoy my things there. You need not think about anything that is happening around and around you and me. Okay. So first he says, take a last look. Give me my handmail from the plastic hook, cut off my name from the telephone book because I am going. The next time he says, there will be no calendar, no clocks, I will not know anything. Daylight will go on, the winter will come along, I will sleep when I want and there will be nobody to wake me or knock at my door because I am at peace and I am in space. I will not write any letters or I will not send any mails. There will be nobody coming to visit me 
or no friend who will be there in my joys. I will be like a prisoner, a, a, a solitary person, a, a, a person who is alone like a, a person in the jail because I am in outer space tomorrow morning. When my capsule door is sealed, when my door is getting sealed and when my space flight has just begun, my teacups will rotate around and the gravitational force of myself will be, I'll be my own gravity. I'll think of my universe as one because I'm going to outer space tomorrow morning. You can watch me on television. He says you can t uh, see me on television but from a very far away. That is why he mentions in the first stanza itself, have a look at me now itself. Because when you are going to watch me on television, it's, it's the same thing that you are going to watch me very, very far away. I will be not close to you. I will not be in your presence. So those who want to watch from the television, watch me from afar, from far away. Those who have telescopes, see, your, see upward for my shooting star that is going on. And then he tells, don't think even if you are seeing me on TV or you are seeing with your telescope, don't think I will give you any damn. Don't think I'll care for you. I will not give you any damn or I will not care for you who you are or what you are doing because I'm going to space tomorrow morning. So he says, when my rockets are going to go around those galaxies there, they're going to hop around those galaxies there and 20, 100 light years which will, which will uh, come forward and stop there. Here you and other, every other soul, he's referring to each individually and other souls as a collective person. Every person or you and other soul, you meaning it's referring to you, the reader, okay, and any other person. So you, you and others can go and blow your top. You can say you do anything you want, okay. You can blow your top is uh, being very angry, very aggressive, blow your top. It's like a phrase, it's a phrase, blow your top, being very angry. You be very angry, you be sad, you be moody. He says, I don't give you a damn because I am going to space tomorrow morning. All right. Now, this is what the poem is. Very simple. Each stanza, remember what he reminds his people to do. Uh, what are the aspects that he is pointing out to him, the daily routines that he does and what he is reminding them to do when he is uh, about to leave to outer space the next morning. Okay. Now, there are two, uh, there is one figure of speech here. That's the simile. It's in the third, uh, Third stanza, the third line, in solitary confinement as complete as any jail, as, okay, simile, as is a, as comparison is a simile there, in solitary confinement, I'll be a lone person just like somebody who is in prison, so it's a comparison of two things in a connection of the word as or like is a comparison, is a simile, okay. So that line is a simile. The next simile is in the fourth stanza, second line. With the teacup circling round me like the planets round the sun. He says the teacups will be circling uh, uh, um, around me just like the planets are circling round the sun. So comparison. Teacups in comparison to what? Comparison to the planets revolving there. Here is teacup, teacups are revolving. So like like, like is given, that's a simile. With the teacup circling around me like the planets around the sun. That's a simile over there, all right? Uh, so not much of a figure of speech here. Uh, one is what I found, okay? Yeah. So third stanza, third line, and the fourth stanza, second line. F uh, in the third stanza, the uh, third line has as, and the fourth stanza, the second line has like, as and like, A-S-L-I-K-E. Then, we'll see at the rhyme scheme, the rhyming words that are there. Go to the first stanza. Look, hook, book. Second stanza, clock, lo clock, lock, knock. Third one, male, hail, jail. Fourth one, begun, sun, one. Fifth one, a far star R. Sixth one, hop, stop, top. Now, 
there is a rhyme uh, rhyme scheme or a rhyming uh, rhyming words only in the three lines because the last line is a repetition or it's a reminder for the others what he is telling because he is going he is continuously reminding them, this is what i am doing so you do this all right okay so let the rhyme scheme be see this is what i taught you in the last class um, let the rhyme scheme be like this see i'll just give you an example of the first stanza and then you have to continue so the first stanza is look hook book okay look hook book so these form the rhyming words a look and hook a and a okay look hook then continue with b and then a a b a a b like that all right so look and hook then b uh, has no rhyming there take it as b and clock and lock a and a knock b continue in the same way uh, this uh, poem that tells us is a short reminder of uh, what the person is doing isn't it that's a short reminder of what he's trying to tell us now because the last line is stressed that last line that is stressed is making to us very clear of certain items that the person who is going to space tomorrow wants all of them to know that he is going he uh, will become the center of attention or center of attraction there because he is going or doing something apart from what's happening around uh, in the earth here people around here so things like these have um, occurred in his mind for a very long time and then he wanted to tell them see whatever he has told he has told it very clearly cut off because he don't he doesn't know about the things whether he is going to return or he is going to uh, not come back is returning or not returning is not sure so he is making them cautious even before uh, he goes away from those now here in this uh, poem what i want you to do is read them uh, line by line this is what i told you everyday language or everyday um, words that are used see what is difficult in this nothing not not a single word uh, is difficult in this poem now what kind of a routine is being mentioned do you think passing the helmet one kind of a routine striking out the name from the telephone book okay then seeing the calendar no time no clock awaking at daylight okay sleeping at night watching the television writing letters posting mails visiting friends these are something that uh, day to day words are being done isn't it so see it in this way all right daily routine work that he did he is doing something apart from that every day okay so make a correction in the rhyme schemes it is a a a b a a a b okay uh b can be considered or not considered because it has no meaning there but a a a b all right look hook book clock lock knock nail hail jail begun sun one far star r hop stop top a a a b okay i said a a b but a a a b all right students uh, i think we can stop at this please uh, look at the comprehension that is there and try to answer it on your own and read the other two poems also mentioned on page 179 for you all right this is what was the poem for us uh, thank you very much for listening i shall meet you in the next class